hello everyone, um, Dan and Roxby here, just making a quick lo-fi video about a couple of things. Um, yeah, it's odd isn't it, we're living in very strange and interesting times. Not interesting in the sense that you find like a new series on Netflix interesting, but interesting with a big dollop of anxiety and fear about the safety of yourself and others. So the slightly more, uh, less desirable form of interest. But in that vein, I'm determined to try and continue a sense of normality as much as possible, as should we all, but with the caveat that we should all be mindful of each other and ourselves and be responsible. So what's going on? Firstly, let me take a sip of a cold cup of coffee while I tell you about a couple of things happening in my world, other than obviously using copy amounts of soap and warm water. So, what's going on? Well, the first thing is that I wanted to make you aware, if you weren't already, that I'd made a music video for the first time, which was an interesting uh, interesting process. I made the video for John O'Casson, the London-born but now sort of Colchester-based independent musician. I made the music video for his single Run and you can see a little snippet of it somewhere now. fun the idea as always you know no plan survives contact with the enemy the the uh, the idea that we had didn't turn out to be the idea that we created but we're both very happy with it and we're now uh, promoting that because all of the proceeds go to the charity Rif Colchester Refugee Action which do a fantastic job in helping the refugees in our local environment the other thing that I just wanted to mention is that I am now making the YouTube videos for the Embers podcast the Embers is a kind of an occasional show that I do on uh, the EmbersPodcast.com, all about provocative thoughts and interesting conversations. And I thought it'd be worthwhile putting those on YouTube as well, just in case people want to listen to them on YouTube. Who knows? Uh, you can find that link at the bottom of that website, the EmbersPodcast.com. Thirdly, and finally, I am now, after taking a little nibble of noise sheets, very important for a vegan to have a bit of noise because it's all good for the ID. So. so, the third and final thing that I'm doing is I'm getting back into the idea of writing a newsletter because I was trying to think what was the best way of being able to communicate with people and just culminate everything that I do. You know, what would be a way of doing that? You know, Twitter, because or Facebook, or oh, I don't know. And then I remembered, oh yeah, ages ago I used to do a newsletter on a fairly regular basis whenever I used to make a new video or put out a new podcast or do something like that. And for whatever reason, I kind of fell off the wagon. And whenever you make something online, the, the, the next thing that you try and do is go crazy about um, promoting it here, there, and everywhere. And you'd go on social media and think you have spend hours literally trying to share the link and promote it and... And you think, it's got to be a nicer way. And I thought email it is a more personal, less intrusive, less time consuming, and just a more personal way of communicating what's going on in my world, you know, and in the sense that I don't have to bombard people or spend ages poking people with all these sort of like, hey, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. So you can just go there and subscribe if you want to. I send an email out every so often. It won't spam up your email inbox. Go to adamboxby.co.uk and it'll be there. So from this uh, slightly isolated room, that's everything that's happening. I just wanted to kind of just update you because things are obviously going to be different now. You know, I think if this you know, consuming of all the news and opinion has taught me anything is that this will pass. 
the majority of the people will see see it through to the end and beyond. And somebody did quite poignantly say, you know, that in a couple of years' time or so, when we look back upon this time and say, yeah, remember that COVID nineteen that we we got uh, stuck with at the beginning of the year of twenty twenty. What did you do? You know, were you somebody that was a bit selfish and ran out to the nearest supermarket and started clearing the shelves of every can, good and loo roll that you could get your hands on and just, you know, sit on them like some big squidgy cushion? Or did you actually think, no, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll only buy what I need. I won't stockpile. I won't clear the shelves so that people who actually genuinely do need these things have no access to them and you know people who need who have got sort of reduced mobility or reduced access to to be able to get these things or did you know did I help out did I volunteer my services to a, a Facebook group or whatever to try and help those who are less able time for you to think about you know and as best as possible if you're able to isolate yourself then obviously that's the advice but unfortunately some people such as nurses can't do that so we're just gotta be safe be cautious be realistic keep washing your hands cough into your elbow and we'll see each other on the other side but in the meantime if you want to subscribe to my newsletter over at adamroxby.co.uk that'd be grand and i shall see you in the next video which hopefully will be a bit more polished and hopefully be something a bit more optimistic than having to end on the subject of washing your hands while singing Bohemian Rhapsody or whatever the advice may be this time tomorrow. Take it easy.